on the first session this morning. Uh, tire temps were really high, so the car was a little skittish and I had some traction control stuff. But for the first time in two years, I've done laps at Watkins Glen without motor problems. So, so far so good. We'll see what happens the rest of the day. We just beat our best time by about a second. Car's got a ton of time left in it. Driver's got to get his stuff together, but everything's running really, really well thus far. Very, so anything very exciting. Didn't go as, as planned. Everything went exactly to plan. I just got to get more laps under it and pick up the speed a little bit. But the car ran great. I felt pretty good about my performance. And qualifying's up next, so we'll see what happens. Are we at the limit yet? We are nowhere near the limit. The car's got three, four seconds at least back in it. So no, no reason why if I'm driving it properly, I can't be under the magical two minute barrier at Watkins Glen, but surely it's got 158s in it, easy peasy. It's the loudest car here, Jack Haberman. So we qualified P2 with a 2 minute point nine second lap. I know that there's sub twos in it, but again, I said it before, um, the car's just running fantastic. I just need more laps in it to get it to move quicker, but you know, tire temps are good, tough pressures are good, the thing feels hooked up with our monoball suspension and camber kit and just making everything work really, really well. So expect a good result for the race. We're going to see what happens. Started the race, it went right to yellow flags for the most part. We got about a total of three or four green laps. Car ran really well, I was really happy with it. I got uh, balked, I got Gershanicked, if you will, and uh, the toe of the boot. And Eric Wonger, who's a very fast ST2 driver, took me down the inside, passed me for first place, and I finished in second. Just too bad out of a field of six. Uh, but again, car was fast and, 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 and solid. And so we can do a little bit better tomorrow. Soggy start to day two. The rain is supposed to clear out by, I think they say, 10, 10 o'clock. But it's cold and wet right now. Uh, so we're gonna put the rain tires on, go out in time trials with the wets on, and we'll see. It may be, it may still be wet for thunder qualifying, so we will uh, see what happens around 10 o'clock and maybe switch to the dry tires. But for now, the wets are going on. Just came in from a soggy qualifying, wound up on P1 overall, P1 in class, six seconds faster than the next guy, and 15 seconds faster than the guy behind that. So, 
Uh, Hoosier wets did their job. Didn't change the wet setup to a uh, dry to a wet setup whatsoever. Just went out and, and tried to do what we do. Uh, I went out in the morning TT session to check out the track and found it was super slick, super wet. Um, so I think that recon, that recon session in the morning really gave me the advantage. So got out first, fastest lap by a long shot. Hopefully it's starting to rain again. So hopefully we have a dry race, but we're gonna see what happens. All right, so it's been raining all day long. I thought that we would be able to use the wets today. This is a long, drawn-out story, but the long, short story is I have A7s that are a little too big for these fenders that we have on this car. They're a little too tall. They're rubbing. I don't know if they're going to rub and explode or if they're going to rub and be perfectly fine, but sit in P1 just as soon say, what the hell. Let's cut the friggin' fenders. I have a jigsaw here. I'll cut them up a little bit, screw up the wrap. Maybe I'll fix the fenders. Maybe I'll make them pretty someday, but at least I don't need to worry about rubbing my tires to oblivion in the middle of a fairly hot race. So, so I went to Walmart and they bought the cheapest jigsaw right. you could find. Yeah, the cheapest Black & Decker jigsaw you've ever seen in your life, but I think it'll cut fiberglass twice. So then we're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're, we're gonna win! <laughs> Spiked my stuff. Because racing, because race car. We just finished the race, only managed second place. Uh, it was a hard fought battle with Mr. Eric Wonger, who did an awesome job. He's been racing forever, super fast here, awesome guy. Uh, it was a pleasure to be wheel to wheel with him. And he and I just kind of ran away with it, but in the end, I think he beat me by about a two tenths of a second. He had fast lap times within a second, or within a tenth of a second. So, second place is never the where you want to be, but again, a takeaways from the weekend. Haven't driven the car here in three years, hasn't I haven't really raced it hardly in two and a half years. I'll take second place here with a guy against with a guy with against a guy like Eric. So we'll take it. Okay. FNA. You don't like any of it? Okay.